Max. What? What? Apparently, we're flying to every country in the world to drink a grog. That sounds like a lot of taxpayers' money gone down the toilet. It would be funny if we stole the plane. <laughs> Hypothetically, if, like, I knew a guy that left the keys in the plane, <laughs> would you come fly it with me? That sounds really good. Okay, I know a guy. You know a guy? You said he left the fucking keys in no, the plane. No, I know a guy, but we're going to have to dress up. Airport security are fucking stupid. You can get away with anything if you put a pilot hat on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Co-pilot Max. I know this guy. We're bros. How do you know him? We play poker on Wednesdays. Oh, okay. Hey, Tim. How you going? This is my co-pilot. Uh... That's odd because it seems like he's dressed more like the pilot and you were dressed like Wario from Mario. It's dress up funny to work day. Did you not get the email from Human Resources? You know, I threw my computer in the river after the investigation. So I, that, that's probably why I didn't see it. But it all seems good from here. All right, Tim. We're just going to go to Epstein's Island for a little bit. All right. <laughs> Tell Jeff I said I. Oh. Oh, you feel that? Yeah. Can you check the air flap? Uh, yeah. Uh, don't hit that. That dumps the floor. Oh, fuck. What about this? <laughs> That's the stewardess's nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Just double check air traffic control. There are a lot of cars on the tarmac. Did you say we we're clear? Is this a skit? How long is this going? Right, we're taking off, Max. Whoa! We landed already. Yeah, it was a fucking short flight. Where are we and what are we drinking? Uh, you should step outside and take a look around and see if you can tell me. How I'm fucking so long is this bit? Let me drink! <laughs> you may see rolling green hills. China. America. You're in Germany. Ah, uh, good morning. Ah, uh, good tag, fuckhead. Does that say oh, corn oh. with a K? Oh! This drink is called corn. It's from Germany. It's a German colorless distilled beverage produced from fermented cereal grain seed. It is 32% alcohol. <laughs> that, that was an accident. Special shout out to the video man one two who commented on our last video saying that schnapps is just not really that German apparently, and that corn is the typical drink. Man, this is what the Germans drinking? You know the Germans, they always make good stuff. No, that is not good. <laughs> so what do you? Oh, what the fuck? This drink, corn, also shares its name with an American new metal band. What is that band called? Show me your answers in three, two, one. Yes, you're correct. Okay, that one really pissed me off because I thought I was wrong. Which of these songs is not a song by the band Korn? No, we already answered it. Move on. A, Freak on a Leash. B, Twisted Transistor. C, Arse Itch. Or D, Hamburger Murder. Oh, come on. <laughs> D, Hamburger yeah, Murder. Yeah, I want Hamburger, but I feel like Scott would pick that because it's got hamburger in it. You both got it correct. That is not a song by the band ah! oh, This is fucked up. All right, guys, it's time to take off to your next destination. What about this? You don't have to drink it. You win. Oh, come on. Ask us another German question. Okay. All right, what do they call highways in Germany? Highways? Autobahn. Yeah, there you go. Chad, please drink. Yes! That is fucking horrible. Who commented that? I think it was Video Man 1 2. All right, Chad, where are we off to now? Fuck that. I am flying. I'm taking this fucking Rick and Morty portal. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Okay, where are we now? You guys are in the lovely hills of Serbia. I'm Serbian. Ah, excellent. So the drink being put in front of you right now is called Rakia. It's a plum brandy prepared and aged according to traditional distilling recipes passed from father to son in master distiller families Ooh. of southeastern Europe over hundreds of years. It is 43% alcohol. Cool. All right, I'm going to try this real quick. Just a little sippy sip. There's like a nice hint of sweetness on top. Did you know in Serbia there is a river called Yia because it is 365 meters God. long. Like two Serbians walk into a bar. <laughs> okay. And they order some rakia. Yeah. One of the first known instances of vampire hysteria came about after a Serbian man was accused of killing his fellow villagers and drinking their blood. What was this alleged vampire's name? Oh, I know this one. Was it Fuck. A, Dracula? B, Vladislava, C, Slobodan, That's or fake. D, Peter. I like the sound of Peter. I'm going Peter. Peter, you haven't touched your blood, Peter. I think D, Peter. I think A, Dracula. Because <laughs> all the movies, they talk about Dracula being the original vampire. Wait, no, he wasn't. Vlad's the original vampire in the Dracula movie. Do you want to change your answer to B? Yes. Can I change mine then? Sure, you can change yours. I'll switch to Chad's answer then. The correct answer was D. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Was it really? Yeah. Max, you were 100% right. His name was Peter Plogajewicz. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> my god. god. So the meme with him was he died and then a bunch of people died after him and reported like seeing him 
But what actually I think happened was that his body was just infected and they all touched it and they all just died of that. I fucking knew it. So you guys both have to finish your drinks. Fuck! To Peter. To Peter Pogabogger. To Peter, Peter Pogabogger. May he be sucking blood in whatever hell he was sent to. Oh. Holy fucking oh. shit. Man, no wonder they think they're seeing oh. vampires drinking this shit. <laughs> oh my god, let's get the fuck out of this country. <laughs> Oh, oh Max, it's a vampire! Run! <laughs> run! 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 What country are we in? Mexico. Oh, we dug oh. all our way to Mexico. What do you What do you guys see around you? Sand? Yes. If this was an episode of Breaking Bad, we'd have to change the color here, okay. right? Wait, can I give you the trivia question right now? Yeah, what's the trivia question? CPR. Okay. <laughs> Mexico is perhaps best known as being the country in which some of Breaking Bad is set. <laughs> what color is it? A, blue, B, red, C, green, or D, yellow? What color is what? The... Mexico. <laughs> what the fuck? That, it makes sense. It up. makes sense to me. Have you watched all the Breaking Bad? Chad, I think he's just trolling you. Is, are you? No. What color is Mexico? I'm assuming me and Chad will both just say yellow then. Yes, Mexico is yellow. Fuck you, Scott. I told you I was getting a bit abstract with the questions this time. Yeah, so the drink you fucking is fucking tequila. Bastard. It's El Himador. Uh, tequila is a distilled beverage made from the blue agave plant, primarily in the area surrounding the city of tequila, 65 kilometers north west of Guadalajara. Look, that's the plant there, and that's the fucking Mexican guy getting paid 50 cents an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up, but it's so true. Back up trivia question. What city is the capital of Mexico? A, Guadalajara, B, Monterrey, C, Cancun, or D, Mexico City? Can you please say the first one again? Guadalajara. You're pronouncing it wrong. It's pronounced Guatemala. <laughs> uh, I vote D, Mexico City. Oh, yeah. I went gu um, Guatemala. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Chad is correct, and Max <laughs> <laughs> what was the real answer? Mexico, Mexico City. City. Sounds fake, right? Yeah, that sounds fake as fuck. Edit me out. <laughs> <laughs> Chase it with a grog. 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 <laughs> oh! Ooh. I don't need that. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> I remember the last world grogs. It gets to a point where it all just tastes like water. I can't wait for that. <laughs> well, it was very nice visiting Mexico City and trying their national grog, which was called what again? Tequila. Tequila. Alright, <laughs> 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 where are we going? How are we getting there? Oh, I know a guy. Let's go by boat. <laughs> <laughs> just cut, we're in a boat now. <laughs> Did you check the forecast before we went out today? Nah, yeah, it said there was a big storm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this looks nice. We've we washed up on this <laughs> beach. <laughs> what beach are we at? Does it look familiar? Yeah, it's sandy and wet. You might have been here before. Australia. Yes. Welcome. Whoa, we're actually on a good beach. <laughs> Welcome to Australia, fellas. What the fuck? Have you seen this funny little fella? All right, you will now taste the national drink of Australia. It's a BB. It's not a BB, no. My fucking back hurts. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. I need that after being trapped out of sea. You need a chaser? Uh, oh! Why are we selling out? Grog is a mix of shochu, vodka, and soda that has become extremely popular in Australia because of it being really good. And everyone in Australia voted it, and now it's the national drink. It is enjoyed by big Australian names such as Lazy Bean from Fortnite and also other people. Hugh Jackman drank it once, too. Also, a wallaby drank it. Max, did you know that a wallaby drank a grog? Is that real? I love a good grog. Didn't we do this? I feel like... Are you guys ready for the trivia? Oh fuck! Chad, that never <laughs> works. <laughs> what? Ow! Bruh. Drog is not released yet, but since it's really good, it's probably going to sell out when it does. To avoid missing out, customers Wait. can sign up to receive an email at launch from which website? Oh, fuck. Is it A, shadow.com, <laughs> B, spiders.net, C, 
troygillum.com <laughs> or dgrog.shop. Ooh, that's tough. Okay, you both C? went for C. That is incorrect. What? I feel like you guys should have fucking known this. It's grog.shop. That sounds like a the fake The only one with website. grog in the name. What the fuck is troygillum.com then? I don't know. You'll have to log on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me top you up, oh, brother. Oh, thanks, it's brother. Right. I know the guy that makes it. <laughs> Drinking alcohol is lit. <laughs> well, Max, our home country of Australia has been great and all, but I think we've left the people on the tarmac long enough. Okay. I need you to close your eyes. We're going to teleport right now to the, the plane. Pilot seat, ready? Three, two, one, think hard. <laughs> We're back, okay. Uh, air traffic control, runway clear. Yeah, you're good. Uh -oh. <laughs> This must be the famous alcohol from the country we're headed. I'm about to land this bitch. You ready? Hold on tight. You ready? Okay. Roger, Dodger, 10 4. Uh, passengers on board. Uh, we are we're experiencing uh, slight turbulence. <laughs> we are? Oh, uh, yeah, we are. Ah! Ah! Cool. <laughs> okay, that's true. Right, it seems we have avoided the turbulence, but now we're going for a crash landing for a meme. <laughs> <laughs> See. Okay. Oh, yeah, we landed. Cool. We're we're we are still crash landing. Oh, okay. Ah! Max and Chad, welcome to Argentina. This shit looks Argentinian as fuck. <laughs> the national drink, or the most popular drink, is Mexico Fernet, City. Fernet con Coca. It in. It's actually a cocktail. It's not the bottle. Cock. <laughs> Why is an eagle carrying the bottle like my fly? Dude, the eagles here drink this shit. That's <laughs> This looks like some American shit. So actually, it's Italian. So that is called Fernet Branca. It's an aperitif, a type of Amaro, originated in Italy, but it's incredibly popular in Argentina where they mix it with Coca-Cola. And we actually had a comment saying, Whoa. you guys have to try Fernet Branca with Coca-Cola. So they mix it with Coke and they get litty. Is this mixed already? Yeah. This sounds good. All right, cheers to the uh, Argentinians. Oh, I really suck in this bitch. Uh, Argentinians. <laughs> That's good. Good. Oh, that's good. It feels like a little bit of a a little bit of beer has been mixed into it or something. Yeah. I could acquire that taste. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So during prohibition in the US, Fernet Branca exploded in popularity uh -oh. due to the fact that they were able to skirt the alcohol ban using a clever tactic. What was the tactic? Was it A labeling everything in Italian so the cops couldn't read it? Okay, that, that sounds Americans are stupid. That bro. sounds good. B labeling their product as a medicine and selling it in pharmacy. C, mixing their product with soft drinks and selling it on the sly in corner stores. Or D, partnering with the mafia to create a lucrative black market trade. Mafia. Would America really sell alcohol to kids? Chad, show me what you went. I won't go the same. I promise I won't, I won't go the same. Chad, show me it. Can I explain my answer? That, that is a piece of paper. <laughs> the reason I picked D was because the mafia is Italian. Fuck, that's <laughs> such a good answer. I want to pick D. Okay, I think Chad's my onto something. I picked D. Oh, you ripped his answer in half. That means it's up for grabs. No. I'll go C. I'll go C. Okay, you went C, you went D. Yeah. The answer was B. <laughs> what's B? What's B? Medicine. Oh, oh my, my god. god! What was the medicine for? It was marketed as a cure for worms, fever, and cholera, and for menstrual well, pain. you know what? I've I had, got all that shit! I've had worms lately. <laughs> hey, cheers to that. Okay, okay. That's 39% chill. It's 39%. <laughs> it's way better with the cola. <laughs> Oh, man, I got worms. That's good. That's so good. It actually is really good. Oh. How are you so drunk? I'm just playing it up, bro. Check it out. I'm cool. Check it out. 9 plus 10. 21. Okay, he's cool. The next country is McDonald's. Uh. These ships say like shit. Chad, shut the fuck up. You're in no position to judge the fangs. Oh, I edit them into McDonald's. One day, McDonald's drive through will have grog. The drive through <laughs> The drive through <laughs> Welcome to McDonald's Airline. Uh, uh, right, passengers, so we've reached our destination. Everyone hit the fucking nene. Uh, we're about to hit the <laughs> Pentagon. <laughs> Where are we? Let me give you a hint. You wouldn't hit the Pentagon, but you might hit the Acropolis. Oh. Oh, okay. What's the <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a very ancient country. Greece. Peru. No. Rome. What's like the other side of the coin to Rome? Oh, Peru. Oh, did you say Greece? I said Greece first. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Oh, cool. I didn't hear that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just to confirm, we're not in Peru. No, we're not we're in, in Peru at this exact moment. 
<laughs> Alright, so what you got in front of you is ouzo from Greece. Ouzo is a dry anise-flavoured aperitif that is widely consumed in Greece. It is said to have been invented by a group of 14th century monks on Mount Athos. Hey, we're bored. It is made from rectified spirits that have undergone a process of <laughs> Wait, distillation stop, and flavouring. Stop, stop, stop. Rectified. <laughs> Rectum. <laughs> 42% alcohol. What is it made from again? Monks? <laughs> Why does it smell like licorice? I think aniseed is an ingredient in licorice. The main ingredient? Can you show me a picture of the plant? It actually looks quite cool. The grease fuckers made their economic collapse recover. That's very nice of you to say, Chad. There's strong licorice, but that just tastes like licorice. I hate that taste. Uzo actually changes its transparency when it gets cold. Shut the fuck up. No way. Oh, it's turning purple. You're capping. It's cloudy. See, look at Oh, it's cloudy. That's not a fucking color. Transpa I said it changes transparency. No, he did not. He yeah, he did. No, he did. He did. Oh, we invented a drink. You put ice in it, it turns to cum. Fantastic. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Chad, what? Alexander the Great was the king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon, who he by the age dudes. of 30 had created one of the largest empires in history. He fucked dudes. Stretching all the way from Greece to northwestern India. He fucked dudes. Did he fuck dudes? <laughs> yes. yes. So famously, he would gaze out at his kingdom and weep. Why did he weep? Gay. <laughs> was it A, because he was so proud of himself? B, because he mourned all the lives he lost during his conquest? C, because he knew he would never be a YouTuber? Or D, because Ooh. he had no worlds left to conquer? I'm feeling C. Yeah, I'd be sad too if I wasn't a YouTuber. Because this is such a great position I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I think he might have been gay. His mother used to beg him to sleep with prostitutes and he never did. That's gay. not that doesn't prove anything. I think he was chill. But it would be okay if he did. So Alexander the Great would gaze out in his kingdom and weep. So you said he had gays in his kingdom? <laughs> Wait a minute, you're telling me I'm nearly 30 and I'm a YouTuber? And I could have had one of the largest empires? <laughs> and you're not gay either. Fuck! This drink is gay. It turns into cum when you add ice. <laughs> this is actually cool. I'm going to go with the letter. A because he was so proud of himself. Okay. I'm going with D. That's correct. Yeah! Fuck yes! Chad drink, is wrong. Drink your cum. Uh, he would gaze out at his kingdom and weep because he had no worlds left to conquer. What happened? He fell off. But he was at our age, so. <laughs> oh, you put so much in it. Chad, suck the ice <sighs> cubes. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I'm so tempted to drink that. It's so good. I want that. Uh, are you finishing? No, okay. I shouldn't. Max. Let's see. Oh, whoa, we're there. <laughs> okay, that works. Hey, where are we, Scott? Uh, the, you may see a large blue mosque behind you. What's a mosque? Like a fucking mosque. I feel like Muslims aren't allowed to drink alcohol. Uh, this country actually has a uh, large Islamic and Christian population. So we are in Turkey. I thought that was a food or not. It's a bird. It's also a country. Common misconception. I'm sorry. So what we are enjoying today is Raki. This is a Yeni Raki. It's from Turkey. It's made of twice distilled grapes. It is the national drink of Turkey. It's also popular in other Balkan countries Ooh, as I an aperitif, Balkans. as well as in Kazakhstan. Well, let's sample this uh, liquor together to the Turkish people. Oh, that smells so good. I'm getting to the point where it all tastes like water, though. Mm. Oh, it's more. It's actually not that bad. It's that's licorice that's also licorice. Yeah. yeah, it's grapes. It's made of twice distilled grapes. There's no nothing to do with the same licorice plant. No star anise. Uh, so it's made of uh, grapes. Oh, oh, oh. you should have fucking said. <laughs> okay, it does have aniseed in it, Max. It does have. Okay, <laughs> it does have it. Okay, what is the capital of Turkey? I is know it this. A. Cappadocia. B. Constantinople. C. Istanbul. Or D. T. <laughs> that I, actually, one. I actually know this. You both wrote C. Istanbul. You're both incorrect. The capital is T. The letter T is at the start of Turkey, so Fuck it's the capital. You, Shut yeah. up, you're joking. No, is I'm serious. Correct? So the capital of Turkey is, of course, T, the letter that is at the start of the word Turkey. If I put that down, would you say I was correct? Yeah, that's the only correct option. The actual capital city of Turkey is not one of the options. Ah. Uh, Do you know the only part of Turkey that I knew about was that Eastern Ball? And I was like, that East must be it. Eastern oh, yeah, Ball. It's the Eastern Ball. <laughs> Pour him a drink. Not on the table. You guys are fucked. Oh, that's a bad one, Scott. You picked a bad one. Hey, guys, Scott. Nah, I'm just joking. That's good. <laughs> you just missed the cup entirely. Take this over here, this fucking cocksucker. Can I mix it? I feel victimized. I'm gonna fuck you up. Chug Drink it. the truth serum. <laughs> nah, I, I, nah, I see a few fucking drops left. <laughs> nice, Scott. Nice. The real nice. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. good. That, does go, that goes down smooth, doesn't it, Scott? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. The capital of Turkey is tea. Did you know that the French came up with the fucking toilet? Toilet paper? This is the what this is my lowest low. Hey, you hold on? Yeah, you're on a moped, go. Okay, no, we're not on a moped. 
We're on a moped. <laughs> You've just said the same thing, <laughs> Oh my god! Where are we going? France. A sprocket in your pocket, you're just happy to ride with me. <laughs> this is quite sensual. Let's go! Okay, where are we? We oui, we. Oui. So what you're about to drink is pastis. Pastis is another aniseed liqueur that has oh, an alcohol okay. concentration of around 40 and 45 degrees. What the fuck? <laughs> Darcy wrote this. I didn't. Uh, it is made from water, star anise, licorice, herbs, sugar, and spices. It's 45 percent alcohol. All right, cheers to the French. <coughs> May their croissants be double butted. Ooh. That's, Fuck the, that's not bad. Fuck the French. That's disgusting. Yeah, what am I going to say about that? Tastes like licorice. Coined by a Japanese psychiatrist in the 1980s. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Paris syndrome refers to a documented phenomenon wherein some tourists undergo acute delusional states, derealization, dizziness, and sweating upon arrival in Paris. What is the most common cause of this phenomenon? A. Extreme yes. excitement upon seeing the Eiffel Tower. B. Contaminated Parisian tap water. That sounds right. C. Disappointment about the city not living Living up to expectations. These all sound fake as fuck. Or D, nothing. I made this entire thing. That up. one. I don't know, bro. I went to Paris and it kind of sucked. Extreme excitement upon seeing up the tower. B, tap water. You're a fucking fucker. <laughs> okay. The you answer was C. You're both wrong. You motherfucker. <laughs> what is C? I had C. No, C, C is disappointing. I had C. He scribbled out my C. What? He scribbled it out. Yeah. You Me. tried to draw a D, now it looks like an O. No, I made it an O. What the fuck? Is well, yeah. I win. I originally had C and you scribbled it out. What? You, you both have to finish your drinks. Yeah. Paris. Isn't there underground graves there? Catacombs. So good. Yeah. Oh, that was... <laughs> You're in the splash what the zone. Fuck? <laughs> Why is there a turkey? We're yeah, in England. Yeah. This place also fucking sucks. Oh, you know what we're talking about? Mexico having the yellow filter. England has like a fucking grey filter. Yeah, no like facts. In real life though, <laughs> not in the film. All right. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, that's that good. sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm at the fucking pub. Yeah, mate. Get that up, yeah. Bloody Sweet. Buckfast, bruv. I gotta say, this drink is fucked up. Buckfast tonic wine. It's a caffeinated alcoholic drink consisting of pure caffeine. Grape! And it added to fortified wine. Yeah. If you ever make an alcohol, just put a grape logo on it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> is shit gonna sell? Uh, apparently, this drink was made by a group of monks at Buckfast Scott, Abbey. Monks? Monks abstain from everything. Why they make an alcohol all around the world? Sometimes they rage. All right, uh, this drink has become notorious in some parts notorious? of Scotland. Notorious? I don't like that. What's the percentage? 15%. It's pure caffeine. Oh, is that why you said it was fucked up? Yeah, just that mix is like, it's like okay. four loco for England. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm becoming a monk. It's really good. Is it actually? I think it's because it's... 15%. Okay, Trivia. question. So in England, there are many old laws that are rarely enforced, but still remain technically active to this day. You're not allowed to wear a suit of armor in Parliament. Which one of these four activities can you still do completely legally? A, get drunk in a pub. B, drink cow milk straight from the teat. Shut the fuck C, up. What is the A again? <laughs> drink in a pub. Why did you already write it? Get I haven't even said all the that. C, carry a plank of wood along the pavement. That is illegal. Or That's D, fucked up. dress that up as a police up. officer. Which one is legal. Police officer. What do you mean? You're holding out a different option. Oh, I can't be bothered. Okay, so the one that is legal is drinking cow milk from the tea. I thought that was illegal. Which is B. What? So you guys are both wrong. So you're telling me I can't dress up as a cop? Yeah. Ah. Oh, but they did it in Hot Fuzz. What do you mean? He dressed up as a cop. He was a cop, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, he was a cop! Chad, do we get to both drink this Hot Fuzz? Ah, uh, the monks. May they keep brewing their fucking potions. That's legit the best one. That is so... I don't even need a chaser. All right, how are we getting to the next country? All right, guys, I reckon you had enough caffeine to run to the next country. <laughs> Chad! No. We're running! The, green, the the background's moving. Go! I'm taking the... This better. looks real! This looks real! I'm taking This the looks realistic! Oh. Chad... Chad. Give us next grog. We're in a very wet place. Not bad. Greenland. Close. Iceland. Close. <laughs> it's a land. Finland. Yes. Uh, We're in Finland. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Koskan Korva Salmiaki is the national drink of Wait, Finland. That, that sounds like Japanese. Koskan Korva Salmiaki. I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong. Sorry to our Finnish viewer. It's a liquor made of Koskan Korva vodka and salty licorice. It was introduced to the Finnish market in the early 1990s. We should play a clip of cold ones and then theirs. That They're like called Iha Just Imus. Uh, 
Finnish cold ones. Iha Just a Moose. Shout out to Iha Just the Moose. There is a Finnish cold ones called Iha Just the Moose. Is that pronounced right? I don't know, but they have completely ripped us off, but it's okay. Chad, no, we're promoting them. We're saying they're cool. Yeah, there's a Finnish cold ones. Oh my God, it's Finnish. Did you know that there's Finnish cold ones? Man, shout out to those guys. Those guys fucking suck. Scott, you look kind of ominous. Oh, no, you look chill. Oh, wait, you look sort of ominous. You Scott, off? you look chill. You look chill. Oh, my, you look fucked up. That's dark and ominous. Uh, wait, oh, shit. fuck. Wait, doesn't he look? He looks kind of cute. Bush did it. Finish liquor. Oh, that's not good. No, it's kind of good. Everything tastes like licorice. Okay, so which popular video game was created in Finland? Was it A, Minecraft, B, Angry Birds, Stop. C, The was Witcher? Not Finnish? He could have been. He speaks fucked up. What were the four countries? We got Finland? He didn't finish, I don't think. There's no... There's no <laughs> <laughs> a, Minecraft, B, Angry Birds, C, The Witcher, or D, Among Us? Among Us. I'll go A, Minecraft. I went Angry Birds. Okay. Okay, Chad is correct. Fuck! Angry Birds was made by a Finnish company. No, that's not how this works, you <laughs> fucking bastard. Why have we got ink on me? Oh. oh, fuck me. Where's Notch from? Sweden. Oh! oh that makes sense. All right, we're going to the next destination on a tricycle. I look like a minion. I'm about to skirt, skirt, you ready? <laughs> yep. Skirt, skirt! Yeah, yeah. Skirt, skirt! We're here. We're oh, yeah, here. get off the bike. Do you know who actually is? Axel, the YouTuber. Prezzo's friend. Axel. America. Prezzo's friend. Over 50% of the land is covered in forest. Brazil. The largest collection of national folk songs in the world. Ooh! Folklore? The most startups per capita in Europe. Estonia. Yes. Am I actually yes. right? <laughs> Axel's from Estonia. Estonia? Yeah. Over 50% of it is covered in forest. Not stones? No. <laughs> it should be called S. Forrester. Darcy, what Estonian grog you have for me and Axel and Max? Hello, gentlemen. Speak Estonian, fuckhead. Scott, what language what? do they speak there? Estonian. Is that real? Uh, <laughs> do that. <laughs> no, it's All right, Scott, what have we got in front of us? The national drink of Estonia. It is called Vanna Tallinn. It is a golden brown, delicate rum-based liqueur. Oh, it's it's smooth it. flavor it's forms a beautiful <laughs> contrast to its high alcohol content. 40% alcohol. Come. Come? Right. <laughs> Estonia, where Axel is from. He's Estonian? <laughs> Uh, it's excellent. <laughs> the highest peak in Estonia is called Sir Munamagi, standing at 318 meters above sea level. That's nothing. What does Sir Munamagi translate to in English? Is it A, Cloudy Peak, B, Big Egg Hill, that one. C, Giant's Crest, or D, Sugar Mountain? Sugar Mountain, Sugar Mountain, Sugar Mountain. From Wreck-It Ralph? Oh my god, is that from Wreck-It Ralph? <laughs> D. Okay, the answer is B, Big Egg Hill. Scott waited this long to do this bullshit. He waited all the way till now to do fucking Big Egg Hill. That's what it's called, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, if I was sober, I would have voted for Big Egg Hill. Alright, shout out to Hank Hill. Oi, to Hank Hill, to propane and propane accessories. I, I'm not going to lie. That's a good show. I need pee. Oh, you're pouring it back in the bottle? No, into the glass from the bottle. Max what? just poured his drink back into the bottle. No! Max! He's got the more goldfish of a... He's got the memory of a goldfish. Look into the camera. I'm gay. Max, I'm going to keep it real with you, brother. The plane was never real. It was a figment of my own imagination. Is there a video behind this? Is that the headquarters of Samsung? Japan! Korea. We're in Japan? <laughs> Wait, Samsung? <laughs> oh, bummer. Yeah. And he's like, Squid Game! He has that right behind Soju! Soju is a Korean alcoholic drink typically made from rice or sweet potatoes. Chamisu is one of the most popular distilled spirits in Korea and is also one of the most affordable. Probably why it's so popular. I'm gonna tell you a little story about my Korean visits before COVID. The camera you're looking at is the one facing Scott, by the way. But this is... <laughs> <laughs> My point is, these bottles are pussy shit. What's your question? Uh, are the bottles pussy shit? But wait, that, that, wait, wait, you, you stopped halfway like it was water. Jesus. Okay, so you gave me a good tasting one. Uh, Korea. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that's unflavored soju. That's demon. That's demon. That's demon. That's demon. That's demon. That's demon. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just throw it all up? Wait, lock, in, lock it in Korea? So the most common surname in South Korea is shared by 20% of the population. This, it, you're, you're... What is the name? Don't do this to us. Is it A, Kim, B, Pak, C, Song, 
or D Yun. Okay, you're both correct. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, I, I mean, you guessed. <laughs> okay, which famous South Korean film directed by Bong Joon Ho won the Palm Door at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival and four Academy Awards, including Best Picture? Easy. Was it A Old Boy, That's B Train to Busan, easy. C Parasite, or D The easy. Handmaiden? C is the correct answer. Shit. Parasite. Let's fucking go. Boy, shout out to Soda Poppin. To money. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god. <sighs> this just became dangerous. Chad, right. check it out. We're on the train. We're on the train. Guys! We're There's... in the new country. Bam! Are we in Russia? No, you are in North Macedonia. Macedonia. So <laughs> what you have in front of you is Groz Strumika Mastika. Oh, <laughs> is this the last one? Yeah, it's oh a traditional god. North Macedonian beverage which is being consumed with pleasure. For more than 300 years. Bless you, my ass. 300 years? <laughs> the rich taste of the Strumica Mastica is obtained through natural wine distillation and specific aroma of anise. Licorice! Cheers. I, cheers. Will, I will have a sip of this. Ta uh -uh. <laughs> That's, yep. It tastes say, like nothing. Is it water from Macedonia? Why is Wario flying a plane? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in episode 8, season 6 of Family Breaking Guy. Bad. <laughs> Family Guy. Wait, what season? Episode 8, season 6. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Family Guy. Okay, I'm zoned in. Peter suffers a stroke after doing what activity? A, fighting a chicken. B, yes. eating 30 hamburgers. So he licked his toe. C, attempting to do his taxes. Or D, going for a light Fighting job. a chicken. All I know is from Family Guy is that they do the chicken fight. I went B. The correct answer is B. Yes! I win. I don't think Max, you might have to finish that last drink. I don't think we can make him do that. I think Max is finished. Do you want you want a question for the win? If I could question, I win. I gotta move my car. All right, Darcy, can you come read one of these trivia questions? <laughs> I'm fucked up. I hate. I'm you, fuck eyed, bro. What is the name of Duh. Peter Griffin's biological father? He's Irish. He's Irish. He's Irish. A. Francis Griffin. B. Mickey McFannigan. C. Theodos Griffin. D. Pasquale McFannigan. On the count of three, we say uh, uh, One, uh, two, three. B or A. A. I said A. He said B. Either of those is good. It's B. Mickey McFannigan. I win! <laughs> All right, one the one before that. So we have one more. We have oh, one more. What is the name of the evil monkey that resides in Chris Griffin's evil monkey. Clo closet? A. Mr. Wiggles, B, Scratches, C, Mojo. Mojo! D, lock it in, lock it in, Mojo, Mojo, Mojo. Mojo, C. The correct answer wasn't even on what I read out. The correct answer is the evil monkey. So Chad said that. <laughs> yeah! It's, it's evil monkey, I knew it! <laughs> You're <laughs> telling me this geography quiz come down to family guy? <laughs> thanks one. for watching another Cold Give ones. me hey, another one. Thanks for watching Cold ones. <laughs> Subscribe to Patreon. Kev, thanks for watching Cold ones. The ones subscribe for bonus content on Patreon and drink grog and drink grog at grog.shop. I'm taking that.